Hey there young makers welcome to the fifth episode of Arduino tutorials with wet blocks In today's episode we are going to learn about some special pins of Arduino called as the PWM pins Using these pins you can make output fade in or fade out by changing the duty cycle of the output by keeping the frequency constant Did that sound gibberish Well don't worry I will explain See there are two types of systems analog and digital Let's understand them with an example Consider a glass of water If you ask a digital guy what is the amount of water inside the glass he would have only two definitions The glass is completely filled or the glass is completely empty But if you ask an analog guy the same question he would give you the percentage of water The glass is 50% filled or the glass is 50% empty In the same way Arduino has two systems Digital will have two values on or off or we can say high or low or we can say 5 volts or ground or we can also say 1 or 0 but in analog we try to define the intensity of highness in output or the level of onness in the output wait we cannot say that that's rubbish but yes analog system will not only have values such as high or low but it will also have values between high and low in other words it will have all the values between 0 and 5 volts but the question is how is all this related to the special pins of arduino well you remember we have those 14 digital pins of arduino starting from 0 to 13 in those pins if you carefully observe in front of some pins there is this tilde symbol these pins are special pins who cannot only have digital values but also they can give analog values in simple terms you can change the intensity of your lamp if you connect them to these pins and how would we do that let's check out the circuit diagram so i hope you know the connection of witblocks power with breadboard and arduino connect vcc of lamp to vcc of breadboard ground of lamp to ground of breadboard and data of lamp to any of the pins with the tilde symbol these tilde symbol pins are called as pwm pins now since you are ready with your circuit let's move on to the coding area so we will save this code with the name fade in and fade out also i hope you have made sure your system has detected your arduino from here okay so now let me list down the pwm pins of arduino uno So over here I mention the PWM pins of Arduino Uno. Can you see these two slashes? Here double slash means comments. So anything after these double slash is ignored by Arduino. So it is recommended to comment key statements of your program whenever possible. Okay. So as I said analog system will have values between 0 volt and 5 volts. But what values is 1.35 acceptable? is 4.256 acceptable well arduino has a simple solution for that too arduino has a scale of 256 numbers starting from 0 these 256 numbers resemble most of the values between 0 to 5 volts 0 in analog scale is 0 in digital 255 in analog is 5 volts in digital this means that any random number on analog scale will be equal to some value between 0 to 5 volts So 128 in analog means approximately 2.5 volts 50 in analog means 0.97 approximately and 200 in analog means 3.92 volts approximately So let's write that too PWM values start from 0 and end at 255 so a total of 256 numbers Now before void setup let us define our lamp integer pwm lamp is equal to 9 so we'll be connecting our lamp to pin number 
Inside void setup, we write pin mode PWM lamp is an output. Now let's first turn on the lamp the usual way. So we go to void loop and we write digital write PWM lamp is high. Okay, let's run the code and check out the result. As usual, the lamp is on. Let's reduce the brightness of our lamp. Instead of digital write, we write analog write and some low value between 0 to 255, say 10. Let's check out the result. See, the brightness of the lamp has reduced considerably. Let's change the value and explore more. Analog write, PWM, instead of 10, let us say 50. Now I want to slowly turn on my lamp, you see slowly. So we write analog write PWM lamp and 0. Let's put up some delay. So we write delay of say 25 milliseconds, a very small time, yes. Next I want this to be copied, so let's copy this. And let's paste this again over here. And over here it was 0. Now make it 1. Again, let's make it 2. Let's make it 3. Let's again make it 4. If I keep on writing like this, this video will end tomorrow and there has to be a shortened way to process this. So let's try to understand the problem. We have some set of codes that needs to be repeated. This is that set of code and a quantity is changing. See? This is the job of for loops. In for loop, we need to specify three things. One, a variable that is the key changing element of the loop. So we write for say integer setting value is equal to 0. So this setting value is my key changing element of the loop. Next we give a limit to this element. So we write setting value is less than 256 and finally we provide a data of how much this changing element must change. So we write setting value plus plus. Here plus plus means that increment the value of setting value every time it starts repeating the loop. Pretty cool, na? So now we create a block for this for loop. So this is how we create a block. Okay. Inside this block, we add the part of the code that needs to be repeated. So this is the part of the code that was required to be repeated.
okay so we don't need a entire this part now zero is the value which needs to increment so instead of zero we write setting value okay so this is the setup for a for loop what happens in this for loop it's simple it will start with initializing setting value which is the key element of our entire for loop then it will set up a limit that the maximum value of setting value cannot exceed 256 okay now it will go inside it will execute this line then set up setting value to be zero execute delay it will go back to the for and increment the setting value so the new value of setting value has become one now it will check whether the setting value is satisfying this condition yes one is less than 256 it will repeat all these steps and come back to the for it will again increment the value the new value of setting value has become two because it will increment by one so oh again it will check what is the value of setting value is it less than 256 yes again it will repeat so finally in this particular loop what we get is these two steps are being repeated starting from setting values value of 0 to setting values value less than 256 that is 255 in short we are repeating this step for 256 times let us run this block of code Now, I want this lamp to fade out slowly after fading in. You see, I want fade in, fade out. Let's go to the coding screen. Copy the for loop from the top. So, we copy this entire block. Now, this was the code for fade in. I want it to fade out. So, we change the setting value to 255. Now, we will reduce this value. Instead of keeping it less than 256, we will keep it greater than minus 1. And this time, we are not going to increment setting value. We are going to decrement it. So, instead of plus plus, we will put minus minus. So, in this loop, the setting value starts from 0 and continues incrementing till 255. Over here, it starts from 255 and continues decrementing till 0. Okay. So, let's check out the results. Finally, I want after fading in, the lamp must maintain its state for some time. So, this is the block for fading. So, I will write a delay of say 1000 milliseconds. And after fading out 2, it should maintain its state for some time. So, let us copy this and have a delay after fade out 2. Let us check out the results. We use this code to lighten up our plant and show their breathing pattern.
गिव अवे टाइम इन टूडेज वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट पी डब्ल्यू एम फीचर ऑफ आर्ब्यूनो बट वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ पी डब्ल्यू एम वॉट वॉज द जिबरस थिंग दैट आई स्पोक एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो वेल दैट्स द चैलेंज फॉर यू आई वॉन्ट यू टू सर्च फॉर एन आंसर टू दीज टू क्वेश्चन द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ पी डब्ल्यू एम एंड मीनिंग ऑफ दोज जिबरिश लाइन्स नेक्स्ट आई वॉन्ट यू टू एक्सप्लेन दी वर्ल्ड द आंसर ऑफ दीज टू क्वेश्चन एंड हाउ टू डू दैट जस्ट मेक अ वीडियो एंड अपलोड इट ऑन दिट ब्लॉक्स एप The best explanation will get a gift voucher from Witblocks. So hurry up, try this project, and search for answers. Ciao.